Hello, and welcome back to Quantum Conundrum. This is part 10, I believe. Uh, and there's actually a reason I'm staring at a wall right now. You see, I had this awkward occurrence where I recorded, actually, episodes 10 and 11 today. And uh, part 10 got deleted somehow or another. So I have to re-record it, so to speak. So as you can see, I got a haircut today. Um, so... I'm going to magically regrow my hair in the next episode with no warning, and then it will recut itself. So, uh, we're going to continue from the level nothing but that. As you can see, we're 70% of the way through, which is nice. So, I'm going to cover everything that I covered in the original part 9, starting from this level. So, let's get on with it. Loading screen, loading screen. Fuck, 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 fuck. You hear me? Alright, so. Let's get through the lasers. Uh, for some reason on this one, you can either do this, which switches the array, and you can go in slowly, or you can just switch it to Fluffy and turn off all the lasers. So I, I don't quite understand <laughs> why that's a thing. Hey, but we'll remember continue. those electro vac contraptions? Yes, well, they still do the same thing. Alright, that's good. If they changed, then we would not be able to get through this puzzle. So, what we have to do is we have to throw them into the electro vats that are of varying distance away for whatever reason, but. Alright. And we have to use the, um,. Upside down dimension to get more distance. So that's exactly what we're doing. Nice hang time. Did I make it? Yes. That's pretty good. That's good enough. Shut up, Quadrangle. <laughs> All right. And this one, this one's awesome. This is the uh, Bob Ross painting. And if you switch it to Fluffy, it turns into Candyland. Funny. And if you switch it to upside down, then uh, gravity switches and everything's flying up. I, don't know. I think the pictures in this game are one of the best parts about it, in terms of humor. All right. This area of the manor is rather Which is the first? fantastic, isn't it? There is nothing like good old-fashioned human ingenuity and determination to get the job done. That and robots. Okay, I kind of agree with him when he says that uh, human ingenuity is pretty much all we have, and so it's amazing. But robots kind of just falls into that, so... I mean, credit where credit's due, man. We're awesome. Oh. Dodge the laters. Laters. Lasers. And we have to hit this guy up here. And that should open this door over here. Which we can then walk through. Of course. I wonder if we can just jump through here? No. They won't even let us into so, the piping. Lasers. I lasers. Want to see someone who retrofitted a laser pointer to achieve a focal point of less than one one thousandth of an inch. I must say it was rather impressive. Mike. And certainly sliced through several materials, including his own toes, like a hot knife through butter. Uh, yeah. So some guy cu cut through his toes. And I suppose that's supposed to be cool. Pretty cool. Uh, and I keeps doing that thing where he pops up in a doorway, and I don't quite know where he goes because usually when he teleports away, whoa! I forgot how fast that was. But usually when he teleports away, it's uh, there's a flash of noise. All right, and so right here, oh well, I screwed that one up. Um. So, these guys go really fast, and we have to use the uh, upside down dimension to make it through. And at this part, we don't want it to hit the ceiling, because then it'll go back the way it came, so we have to kind of, like, well get it through there like that. Of course, we don't want to hit the lasers right there. Yes! Yes! <laughs> so, here we go. Ever so slightly, Ooh. so it doesn't hit the lasers. Oh my goodness. Down and up. Oh. Damn, so close. 
Alright, I need to use the uh, these guys a little bit more sporadically. Like tap it a few times instead of just holding it, because that tends to uh, give it more stability. Uh, made it. Okay. <laughs> oh, I need to hold it there. All right, drop it down. These guys are really fast. See that that makes it a little bit easier to get through. Shouldn't have hit it again. Darn it! Alright, here we go. Last time. Alright. Alright. No! Ooh! It went between the lasers. Oh no! Okay, made it. All right, there we go. Superb. Excellent. And now we get Fluffy, which lets us pick this guy up, which we can then place on this convenient little marker here. I don't know why it's there, and then we can just fly it up. And land on the top of the door frame. There are an excessive number of flooded areas in this sector. I didn't realize it had progressed this far. You didn't realize the flooding would progress? Some of the mainline science juice pipes must have been compromised. Well, obviously. Oh, and I wouldn't recommend having a drink. Science juice is not potable. Trust me. Yeah, so science juice isn't perfect, unfortunately. Uh, it's a nice source of energy, and it's a superconductor and loading screen. Why don't you open for me? Thank you. But you can't well, consume it. at least we can say you're getting closer to the last generator. Alright, yes. So, we need to use the um, upside-down dimension to flop these guys up. Which actually puts those guys up as well, so we need to drop it in order to get to them. So, certain ones go up and certain ones go down depending on which Heads way you up. have it yeah if you go on here then you're pretty much gonna die unless you turn on slow motion so we turn on slow motion get this guy and we actually need to fly it up so in order to do that we'll turn it to slow motion and then go up just so we can get it just right Uh, and we're just jumping and changing dimensions immediately after uh, switching to slow there so we don't get juice. Because that's never good. Apparently it's also deadly. Okay. The electrical right. converter should be up there. And this one takes a bit of timing because we need to in order to open this first door. Um Think of this like telling a good joke. How does this one work? Yeah, okay, in order to open the uh, back door, we need it to be down there, but in order to get into this first door, now uh, we need to get it up to there, so we need to use a bit of timing. Ah, uh, well, not quite. Timing. Is just like so. Get through. Then we can just drop it, and it's fine. Oh, I See. can recall that there were a few trailers earlier in the day. Oh, that's a newer memory. There were some earthquakes. Yeah, I was there. It kind of exploded at me, you know? I lost my luggage. Oh, already to the bot bot maintenance bay, I see. How fortunate. Alright, so we need to play a bit like of catch with these guys. Like keeping momentum going is important. Gotta jump up here, and then once we're over here, we activate this door by um, hitting that button up there with reverse dimension. Excellent. 
It took yes, me two tries last time. Slightly more complex, but oh. You've oh, also they're magnetized, so... Uh, that's good. And we actually need to get over to that door right there, so we need to... We need to ride the safe, so to speak. Only consider certain tasks. And we just have to start it flying before it hits that corner and switches directions. And we'll be able to just magnetize this guy right here. Excellent. And we just wait. The waiting game. Oh! 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 Made it. On to the next room. Next room. More robots. Okay. I never understood... Whatever. Alright, so we need to get to that guy. Uh, which means that we need to somehow get a save to these ones. And that'll just get us straight there. The other two guys won't work because they don't hit the um, button and we don't have any other way of getting there. And in order to get it there, we need to shoot it from these guys, which get one from that one, so, whoops, missed, but we basically just send the safe from this fella, oh, <laughs> from this fella, and then we send it over, and while it's going, we just hop on, well, you like heights. I am rather fond of it. Try this one more time. Oh, we can just start off on top of it. That'll make everything easier. Yeah, because then we can actually see what we're doing. Alright. Oh, perfect landing. <laughs> sort of. Excellent. We made it. Loading screen. Loading screen. Loading screen. Fuck you, fuck you. Loading screen. Open up. You loading. Knock, knock. Thank you. <laughs> I saw the sign. They have a lot of puns with sign in this game. Uh, they had a book called The Original Sign, I believe. That's pretty good. Nice. And we're going to use slow motion and upside down to hop on here and drift across this pool of one of the best modes of uh, science shoes. Ever well, at least Thank you, Ike. I'm sorry. It gets really mad at the end of this game. I don't know why. Process a bit here. You'll need yourself and, just... and the safe to be on the other side. We need the safe. I forgot about that. So we'll switch to Fluffy. Oh no! Screw that one up. Alright, hold on. Last time I did it right here. Just go up a bit, slow motion, jump off, fluffy, right here. Perfect. Easy. Easy peasy. You're doing quite well. I'm on squeezy. You. I'm a bit concerned about the excess of science juice outside the confinement of their pipes. I suppose uh, there's a lot of triggering any incendiary devices, you should be alright. Alright, so science juice is apparently also flammable. Uh, for some reason, there's a ton of it out there. A little more than we would like, You'll but uh, hopefully that doesn't sequence. affect us adversely. And here, actually, was the last uh, puzzle I got to in the original part 9. So I'm going to stop it here. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll get to couch surfing. Couch surfing in part 11, and part 11 is pretty close to the end of the uh, game, so part 12 might be the last one, or mm, it'll probably be part 13 tops, but part 12 is a good shot of being the last episode. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.